Well, Dion, great to see you. Um, you've admitted before that you long dreamed of joining United. So how does it feel to be here as a player? I'm very happy. Uh, first, I want to say I thank God for making this happening and it's just like a dream come true for me because uh, I know many people used to say when they join a team, they say that they dream of playing the team. You know? Mine was not the case. Mine is I supported the team when I was young. People that knows me, even back in Nigeria, everywhere, even when I was playing in Watford, my teammate knows that. I love Man United, I support them when they play, even when we play against them. When I play against Man U, that emotion is there because it's my dream. So now it's reality, so I'm very happy and I'm looking forward to start. And what was it that started your love affair with Manchester United? Was it a, a particular player or a match or the style of football? Yeah, you know, when we were young back there in Nigeria, you know, we used to watch the Premier League on TV and all that when the likes of uh, and the co used to play like Jokic and all that. You know, people support Man United a lot back there in Nigeria. You know, so I developed that love because all my siblings they are Man United fans. You know, so then watching the game back home and all that. You know, so I never thought this is gonna happen. You know, but like I said, dreams dreams do come true. You know, so I'm very happy to be here, and it's gonna be a big and good challenge for me to in my career. And of course, the the deal to bring you here came to a really exciting conclusion on the transfer deadline day. Can you just give us an insight into your emotions on, on what was a very dramatic day in the end? Yeah, it was very dramatic. I could remember, you know, because my agent called me a day before that said, uh, United, I would love to go. And all I said, some other clubs are showing interest. I said, please just speak to United if it's going to be possible. So around 11 p.m. in Shanghai, you know, my agent called me that uh, United want to do the deal. So. I woke up that night, I started looking for a translator to go to the director's room and hit his door and all that. My agent wants to speak to you, the United are coming for me and all that. You have to make this happen and all that, you know? So they started talking and discussing and I was going to, I did not sleep throughout that night till because it's going to end like 7 a.m. Shanghai time and the transfer is going to close there. So from that 11 p.m. is paperwork to paperwork negotiating and all that for lonely and all that so we are talking on other teams were calling them you know wanted me but i told my agent this is what i want you know i want to call me and say no but you're going to get a pay call to come to united i said i don't care make this day happen i want to go to united i don't care how much is the pay call and all that make it happen and all so the director and everybody they don't have what to say anymore because I already made up my mind. So, and my agent started doing and all that. So, we make sure we do everything and like 5 a.m. there, finish. My agent said, I forward the, all the papers to United. They will confirm for me if everything is okay. You know, I think around 5 or 6 a.m., he said, Everything is okay. It's done. I was excited and all that. I called my mom and she was happy, crying and all that. that this is your dream and all that and I'm happy for you. So people started hearing the news. My phone was filled up and all because they, they know that I'm a Man U fan, you know. So that's how it was dramatic and all. That. I did not sleep throughout the night. I was very happy that it worked it, you know, that finally we get it done. You're here till the end of the season. Yeah. So what are your ambitions? My ambition is to work hard with the team and make sure we finish well in the season and above where we are today because I saw the table yesterday and all that and I know my United is a big team. They are there in the top and now things are not going the way it should go. So my aim is to contribute my own quarter to the team and make sure we finish good in the position. And you're going to wear the number 25 shirt for United, previously worn by Antonio Valencia, who was a great player for the club, of course a great servant. Why did you take that number in particular? Well, I think that number at number 19 was ab available because when I was in Watford, I put on 24. 24 was not available in Shanghai. Number nine is not available. So I said 24 plus one is 25. So I said, OK, let me go for 25 instead of 19. And of course, that was the number worn by Quinton Fortune, the yeah. first African to present, uh, represent United. So was that Part of the inspiration a little bit as well? Yeah, because I watched 
uh, Quinty Ponchi play for Man United too. He's a great player and I know he put on 25. So I said, yeah, 25 is good, even though I didn't get the number I was looking for. 25 is perfect number, one above what I wore before when I was in Premier League. You'll be the first Nigerian to play for Manchester United. Is that something that will make you feel very proud? I'm, I'm really proud, you know. I'm happy because people keep sending me messages and all that, that this is very big for you. You're going to be the first Nigerian to play for United. It's a great record for you in your career and all that. I know you will understand it now. Then after you finish football, you're going to know what we're talking about. So because I'm just too emotion, emotional right now, so I don't think about those things too much. I just want to get started and get playing and start helping the team to do well. What's the reaction been like back home from, from family and friends? It's, it was crazy because all over the news for the last two days is about my deal to Man United, you know. And even the street I grew up from there doing parties, celebrating Igalo signing for United and all that. They sent me the video, I was just laughing and they are happy because many of them so, is supporting Man United and some of them are supporting some other teams in Premier League. But they said because of me now they are moving to United because they have very big fan base in Nigeria and Lagos there. So I'm happy about all this and they are rooting for United from now. So how much are you looking forward to linking up with United's other strikers? Marcus Rashford, of course, Anthony Martial, Mason Greenwood as well. What, what impresses you about them and, and how excited are you to play with them? These players are great players. Uh, Greenwood is a very good player, young, very good left foot. I watched some of his game. Masha is very skillful. He can do so many magic with the ball. And Rashford, I think, is for me, is one of the best, if not the best, young player in Europe right now. He's doing so well, scoring goals. He's fast. He has good techniques. Fortunately, he's injured now. And hopefully, I'm looking forward to play with him, you know, because he's a good player. So for me, it's just a plus to the team, you know, to work out with these guys and make sure we, we end the season very well. Many fans have seen you perform very well at, at Watford in, in Italy and in China as well, of course. But for those who haven't seen you play, how would you describe yourself as a player? Well, uh, there's not much to describe about me. And I would say I'm very fast. I, I'm skillful, I'm strong. So I, I have good techniques. So I can, I can find my way in the field of play. So I hope when I get started, I just have to keep going and gel with the team so that everything will just work out very fine. And in terms of the different qualities that you can add to the striking lineup at United, what would you say you bring to the table um, that's important? And I suppose adding, adding into your the yeah. physicality, the, the, the passion for the club as well. Yeah, yeah, because uh, now sometimes I watch the game, uh, don't have like a striker that stay mostly in the middle because Masha right to come from the side, even Rashford and all that. So need somebody in the middle that can keep the ball, hold the ball, because I watch so many United games when I'm there. So they need that physicality there up front to keep the ball, to give and to make some move and all that, which I believe if everything goes well, I can add to the team and all that, you know. And at Watford, you played particularly well in a, in a great partnership with Troy Deeney. So do you prefer playing with a partner like that or as a lone striker as you did in, in China? What, what do, you, do you like more? Yeah, I've played in different positions. As a striker, you know, if I play to striker, you know, it's good because why? I play with Troy Deeney, we understand each other because I played, we played together when we were in championship from there to the Premier League and all that. But in China, I'm playing like a lone striker. Even in the national team, I play like a lone striker. So it depends what formation the coach is going to play. Then I'm OK with anyone. You've talked about your love for, for Manchester United as a team. So how did you find it when you played for Watford against Manchester United? What was that like? Yeah, I could remember the game in Old Trafford. I think we lost 1-0. The game was so emotional for me, even I remember Troy Dini was telling me, hey guy, you have to calm down because I was eager to score against my, even some balls I have close to the area. I was supposed to pass it, but I want to shoot it. I want to score myself, you know? So he was, Troy was not happy in that game. Say, hey, you have to pass the ball and all that, you know? Because that is that passion, you know? Because I want to 
create a mystery that I score against my bold club, the club I was supporting from when I was young, you know. So that is the passion I had when I played against United. And now I'll be playing for United. So I just hope I'll just gel away and don't let emotions take the better part of what I'm going to do. Is it strange when you play against your, your boyhood team like that? Because I suppose you, you want your boyhood team to, to have the results and, and to, to do really well, but you also perhaps want to make your mark and, and make your side yeah. want to buy you. Yeah, because then I was playing for Watford. I'm doing my job because I have contract with them. I'm happy doing it. I want to score to create history that I scored against United and all that. But still, outside, I still support them whenever they play. I watch the game and how they do. And in your career, you scored a double over Liverpool in a famous 3-0 win for Watford. You also scored to knock Arsenal out of the FA Cup. And in Spain, you netted against Barcelona and Atletico Madrid. So do you have a favourite goal you've scored so far in your career from, from those or from others, perhaps? Yeah, I would say scoring against big teams is always good, you know. But one of the goals, I would say, is my first goal in Premier League because I had a dream to play in Premier League. And my first game, my first debut in Premier League against Everton in Goodison Park, I came in in that game and I scored. I dragged the ball and I shoot. That was one of my best goals here. And as a Manchester United fan scoring a couple against Liverpool, that's got to be pretty special too. Yeah, because uh, then uh, the, the, the coach just took over then and all that. So we we played against them in Vicarage Road and I scored two goals against them. We won 3-0 in that game. It was, it was fantastic because nobody can imagine that. Watford is going to beat Liverpool because they're a big side too. So it was one of the best moments in my life and my career. Tell us about your experience of playing in China. Well, uh, it's a great experience for me because uh, I've played in Norway, played in Spain, played in Italy, in England and in China. So it's different culture, different life, different football. Chinese league is still growing, they're still far back but they are trying it's getting better and better every year and all that but it's not to be compared with the premier league because premier league is the best league in the world for me it's the number one in the world so i would not say any other league come close to it we know that manchester united have a great following in that part of the world so did you continue to follow united while you were over there yeah because even some of the Translator and some of the guys that is working in Shanghai, they said, I'm a Man United fan, please just go there and do well and make us proud so that when, we, when you come back, we'll be happy and all that. So I told them, don't worry, I'll do that. So being away from the Premier League for a, a few years, does that make you even more hungry to have another, another crack at the, the English top flight? Yeah, because I watch it on TV. I watch United, I watch some other teams and all that. I, I have that, that feeling that, let me get it go again at it and see how it's going to be because, like I said, it's the best league in the world. Every player would like to play in the Premier League. I've done it before and I was looking forward to do it again. And thank God United gave me the opportunity to be able to do it now. So I'm looking forward to it. And of course, there's still a lot on the line this season, potentially. A top four spot in the league is, is up for grabs. The FA Cup of course, as well, and the Europa League. So what would winning a trophy mean to you as a Red? Well, I don't know what I'm going to say about that because talking about it now is different than when you win it and the emotions and the happiness and the joy that comes with it, you know. So it's going to be a lifetime experience. It's going to be something I'm going to cherish all the days of my life because not only playing for United, but winning a trophy with them is something different. It's something that is going to be in my memory all the days of my life. And just finally, I just wonder if you've got a message to, a, to fellow Manchester United fans around the world before your debut. Yeah, I want to thank them so far for all the message they have been sending since I signed to this team. And I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be a United player and I'm looking forward to the game. And I promise to give my best from the first day I put on the jersey in the field to the last day of my game here. And I promise to add my 
own part to make sure the season finish well for United. Thank you guys and God bless you.